Hi, welcome back to Home Time for the latest adventures at the Creekside Home Project. Yep, it's been kind of a wild ride, but things are starting to settle down now. We're going to be covering the steps for keeping your garage warm and dry. So we're going to be waterproofing, insulating, setting up a very cool floor drain, getting it radiant ready, and pouring in a new concrete floor. That's the plan anyway. So stick around, see if we get it all done. Now it's always nice in a garage to be able to drain the water that comes off your car, especially in a northern climate. So uh, you can always install some round drains. It's a little bit more difficult for the cement contractor to get the concrete to slope right to those drains. What really works great, and we've installed one of these before, is the trench drain. Now the sections of the drain are about 39 and a half inches long. For you metric minded, that's about a meter. The tops are meant to be installed level, so to get proper drainage, the bottoms are actually sloped and they get deeper as you get closer to the drain. The sections are also numbered so that you know exactly how to put them together. They've got a tongue and groove connection system, which is very easy to put together and makes a tight, uniform joint. Now, it's always a good idea to dry fit it first, and then use a sealant when you're putting it together for real. Now these are recycled polypropylene, so they're gonna be strong and durable. Eventually, of course, we'll be putting in some decorative grates here, but for the time being, and for the concrete pour, we're going to be putting in these temporary grates to help protect them. You want the concrete to support it on both sides and on the bottom, so the drain has to be supported at the proper height. We're using rebar, fastening them to the sides of the form with some screws. That's working pretty well. Now rebar can get sharp after you cut it, so we are going to protect our waterproofing by using a little bit of dimple wall right underneath our foot, and that should keep everything nice and safe. Now each section does have a floor drain if you want it to drain there. You just need to take a hole saw and open that up. But if you want it to drain out the end, they also have these caps and hub outlets. That's what we are going to be doing. Either way, we've got a lot of work to do before we're ready for concrete. Okay, so we're in good shape here. All the insulation's down, the radiant floor heating tubes are in place and pressurized, and the, uh, the trench drain is in place, all set to go. I added a few little pads of concrete here. I like to do that just to kind of firm it up, although the rebar does a nice job of supporting it anyway. And then I took our plastic covers, put those in, taped them off, and so we are ready for concrete. Now, if it looks like we're pouring an awful lot of concrete, it's because we need a certain amount of concrete just to support the overall height of the drain itself. And then by the time we ramp up an eighth of an inch per foot toward the back of the garage, we had like about two and a half inches. It's, it's a lot of concrete. Concrete work is pretty darn hard work. You know, uh, the stuff is heavy, it's wet. Uh, you know, with the temperatures out here, nobody's in a really good mood. So, you know, the concrete comes off the truck. The boys, uh, they put it in buggies. They got to buggy it over to the right spot. You know, and then they got to dump it in the right spot. They got guys dumping. They have people spreading it out. Uh, you have to get your heights right, especially on a garage, because you want your garage floor pitched out to the front. So it's kind of a tough deal. Uh, key element is a lot of manpower. Everybody has their jobs uh, when you pour mud. There's guys that just buggy. There's guys that, you know, do the trawling. Uh, there's, uh, like, Tom, he's in there. He gets the right height set. They got everything on a laser. so. Uh, once everybody knows their job, it, it goes pretty well. They're a very well-oiled uh, crew. Uh, mud can be pretty tricky, you know. You, you have a little window of opportunity. You can't, uh, you can't lollygag, so uh, best to get it done and, and uh, do a good job, because you can, you can lose it. Uh, better them doing it than us, definitely. Now that the concrete's in, we can move on with our next steps of the project, uh, keep things rolling. Uh, it was a timely process of getting the concrete set, waterproofing, where's bow, foam. Uh, doing the steps necessary to get the concrete in place. But now that we've got that, we're on our way, we're ready to roll. Well, it seems like it's one milestone at a time. This time we got the garage floor done, which is great. Next time, more mechanicals. We'll probably start with our siding and then move on to the roofing. So be sure to check it out. Till then, I'm Dean Johnson. Thanks for watching.